Hey Vanessa, this is a tutorial for you. Um, this is how you actually will move from page to page. Let's see how many pages this particular template has in it. Then I can show you. Okay, yeah, so it does have um, several different templates in it. So I can actually show you. So, all you have to do is, um, if you have a button, this button is probably set to a pop-up. So let's go ahead and view the pop-up here. Okay. And so what you would do is you would come and you would click on the actual email part of the uh, pop-up and you would come to um, configure and then you can click on edit. And so once you go to edit, you'll see action taken after submission. You'll just come here, you can go to page and then you'll select whatever page you want it to go to, right? So I'm just going to select that disclaimer right now and we'll click on OK. We'll confirm that. Uh, OK. To add multiple con OK, that's the email we wanted to go to. That's if, um, matter of fact, let me let me do it the other way. Um, well, we can just do it this way. It's all right. Let's just do uh, test bbd17 at gmail.com test and um, okay, yeah, that should be it. Okay, and so okay, all right. So that's configured that way. Okay, and the reason that it, it did it that way is because normally it'll give you the um, option to uh, select your your mailing device um, or your mailing software or what have you um, but it didn't this time so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just save this the test site and when we go back here let me refresh my um, site and we'll publish this and we will um, Hit test on here. Let's see what we get here. All right. So when we hit that, we get the pop up. I'm going to put in my test email address. I'm going to download. Congrats, you're registered. And boom, it actually transfers us to the next page that we want to go to. Okay. And so you would do that for all of the uh, all of your pages that you want, you know, to kind of connect. Or what have you if you don't have a menu but you want to go to another redirect them to another page after <clears throat> the opt-in now what you can also do is um, let's do this here let's just take this let's make this bigger alright and uh, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to create, um, let's just delete this or hide, let's just hide this actual button there. And then we're going to go to like email marketing. So say for instance, you were actually putting in, and I'm going to go to mailing box, uh, mailing balls, I'm just going to put email marketing. Um, and so this would have been like a regular opt-in page where you're not doing a two-step, you're just doing uh, opt-in box with the name, field, or whatever the case may be. Same concept, so you'll do this, you'll right-click, and it's already configured for your email client, right? So here you're going to go to change URL, and pending subscribe is what we want to go to. So they're going to automatically be sent to pending subscription, um, or a pending status, I should say once they submit their information and once they do that you can you can come here to say for instance you had a download section or what have you uh, we can do the same thing just uh, select the page and click OK we'll confirm and notice here you can do it for the subscription confirmed and an unsubscribe confirmation so for instance once they confirmed if you wanted them to go to an additional page then you can do that. So once it's confirmed, it will automatically send them to that page um, or what have you. So we'll confirm here. Uh, we'll save this again. And we'll go back 
to our mock-up. Um, let's see if we can go back one step here and get the fresh, the refreshed version. Let's see. Yep, here we go. Okay, yeah. And so let's do the same thing. Test BBD17. We're going to submit it. And here we go. It actually uh, sends us to the next page. And that's pretty much how you do it. Um, again, you just go, you just come in here, you'll right click. If you have the fields section, you'll right click, you'll go to change URL. If you, um, <clears throat> If you actually have the button and you have it set for a pop up, then you can come here to your pop up. You know, you already have it set for your pop up, so you'll come here to your pop up. You'll click on that the whole email field there, and then you'll come to configure and you'll come to edit to receive the response or what have you. Um, and then that's it. That's all you have to do from that standpoint, and you're good to go. All right, hopefully. This was helpful to you. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me once again.